Well, Diwali is just around the corner and the Supreme Court of India came out with a very crucial observation with an order today asking all sellers in Delhi and the National Capital Region to ban the sale of firecrackers until well after the festival of Diwali. Take a look. Diwali, one of the biggest festivals of India, the festival of lights that marks the return of Lord Ram after 14 years of exile. Over the years, firecrackers had become an integral part of the festival. And as Indians prospered, the bang of firecrackers became unbearable, at least for some. India's pollution-choked capital worried Delhi citizens. The government tried or even rules. Firecrackers were blamed, even though no reliable scientific study has been conducted yet. And India's top court has now banned firecrackers. Diwali will not be the same again. Between now and the 2nd of November, there is no further sale of crackers in the NCR region. Uh, no further crackers are allowed to come into the NCR region. The Supreme Court has done this in the hope that the prevention of a further sale of firecrackers will help the Delhi authorities determine the amount and the extent of uh, air pollution that is caused by firecrackers. Many are happy. मैं कोर्ट के फैसले से सहमत हूं जो निर्णय आया वो ठीक है देश के लिए क्योंकि पोल्यूशन अपने यहां बहुत ज्यादा है बट अदर्स आर डिसअपॉइंटेड पहले सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर किया भाई लाइसेंस दे दो हम लोगों ने माल खरीद के दुकानें भर ली जब दुकानें भर ली तो आज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑर्डर कर रहा है जी इनको बंद कर दो ये बारूद है इसको कहां ले जाएं Let's try out at least one Diwali without firecrackers, said the Supreme Court in an order banning the sale of firecrackers in Delhi and National Capital Region. Delhi and the National Capital Region have seen a lot of trouble after the festivities end during the Diwali period, where people often complain of coughing the next morning. In the previous order, dated in 2016 November, the Apex Court had suspended temporarily the licenses of various firecracker vendors across Delhi and the National Capital Region. But restoring their order today, the Apex Court has finally made it clear that firecrackers will not be sold in the National Capital Region as well as Delhi this time around. Jessica Taneja with video journalist Ajit for Vion, New Delhi. And well, to talk more about this, joining me live on the show is uh, Ms. Haripriya Padmanabhan, who's the mother of the petitioner and also an advocate herself. Jessica Taneja, our correspondent, who's been tracking this story through the day for us, is also live with us. Jessica, first coming to you, help us understand, there was a ban last year as well, but it came only well after Diwali. It was a ban on possessions, talking and selling of firecrackers. Now, today what the court has said, is it a blanket ban? What does the order say exactly? Well, some of the order clearly states that no firecrackers will be sold, uh, no vendors will be selling it, in, at least in Delhi and uh, National Capital Region this time around. So it, with that order, I think uh, the Apex Court had made, has made it clear that this Diwali, in fact, will be a silent one. And uh, looking back at the order uh, which was given last year, was actually on the temporary suspension of the vendors who were selling firecrackers, which in fact uh, was being heard again this time around in September. But uh, that order, in fact, will be uh, will come into force only after November first. But till then, no firecrackers in uh, at least Delhi and National Capital Region. Right, Hari Priya, if I can come to you first of all, thanks so much for joining us. So this victory is not a personal victory just for you and your kids who are petitioners in the case, Thank but you. this is something which becomes the hot topic of debate every year just before Diwali. Uh, your first reaction on what the Supreme Court has said today. Well, we are very, very happy. Um, you know, actually, we moved this petition in 2015, and in 2015 as well, we requested them that the air in NCR from October to March becomes really bad. And immediately after Diwali, there is evidence that the PM 2.5 levels literally triples in in NCR. And PM 2.5 is very, very harmful because once we breathe it in, it goes into our lungs and it settles in our lungs and our respiratory system. So we had argued, but unfortunately, we didn't get the stay when we asked for it the first time around. In 2016, after seeing the abysmal condition of Delhi air post Diwali, we went back to court and said, now you have, you know, empirical data. You know, you've seen how bad the situation is. Delhi is covered in smog. People are suffering from respiratory diseases. So please give us a relief. So then the Supreme Court banned suspended all the licenses issued in Delhi and that continued till 12 September 2017 when that ban was lifted. 
However, before licenses could even be issued as such, we moved for an application for modification, saying that you know we've come across some information and therefore this order needs to be recalled or at least modified. So right. most of the vendors and dealers were put to notice that such an application has been filed. They were all in court, right? So now what the court is, it's actually farcical for to get an order banning firecrackers after one Diwali and it being vacated before the next Diwali. Mm -hmm. So the only thing which the court really wants to know is that how will the PM 2.5 levels be in Delhi if sale of firecrackers is right. banned in Delhi for Diwali? Exactly. But Having even though, that, even though caution, Harpriya, the so court has made it very clear. The last week it's made it very clear that there is no empirical data to suggest whether pollution levels are actually related to the firecrackers that are burnt every year on Diwali. But you and I know what we see. Uh, you know, we live that's in Delhi true. and NCR. We know what it's all about. No, but that's not true. But that's not true. There is just a slight problem. What the Supreme Court has said in the 12th September order is that we are not sure that the chemicals which are used when they combust, how harmful they are to, to us when we breathe in. That is the only place and uh, situation where empirical data is lacking. As far as the PM 2.5 levels are concerned, that does not matter. Any particulate matter which is 2.5 in size is per se dangerous. You, I mean, that, that scientific data is already before court. That what happens is when the particulate matter is so minute and right. aspirated, it goes into our lungs. So irrespective of its chemical composition, it is bad. And we have data to show that immediately after Diwali, the day after Diwali, the PM 2.5 level triples in Delhi. So the direct cause and effect of fire Absolutely, that, that is in fact exactly in what I was saying. That we, we, right we know there. what happens on the day of Diwali, the day before Diwali, and a week at least after Diwali. Jessica, you know, many are also talking about the fact that this is being done now just for this year. The court will see what's the impact, what's the result of this ban. But uh, the question is, why wasn't this done at a community level earlier? Why did the court yet again have to step in in a matter like this? Very valid question, Sana. In fact, many are seeing this as judicial overreach, but that again is very contentious because if, uh, if this is a judicial overreach uh, which concerns the health and the welfare of its citizens, it might as well be. But at the same time, people do say that uh, their festivities and their way of celebrating cannot be curbed in any manner, which has in fact become an issue right now even on social media and otherwise if you speak to even the legal eagles, it's uh, it's not just about judicial overreach if the citizens had taken it upon themselves to not burst firecrackers the judiciary wouldn't have to come and step in and uh, give us such a finite order and say that there will in fact be a ban on uh, uh, the uh, uh, selling of uh, firecrackers so that in fact has created certain ripples but at the same time, the question of uh, judicial overreach versus uh, community you know, uh, voluntariness is also another problem. Absolutely. I'd request uh, both of you to please stay on with me. I'll come back to you in just a bit. But it's very important because this ban directly affects the traders who are sitting in Delhi's uh, big wholesale market of Sadar Bazaar. The market is known for buying firecrackers just before Diwali and in bulk quantities. How will the market, how will the sale be affected? How will the business be affected. We on correspondent Nagain Singh went to Sadar Bazaar and spoke to a couple of businessmen. Take a look. We are in Sadar Bazaar, which is one of the biggest markets in Delhi, and most of the Delhiites come here for their Diwali preparation. We can find different things here, like the decorations for home, lights, because Diwali is considered the festival of lights in India. But now, after Supreme Court's decision, to ban sale of firecrackers in Delhi and the adjacent areas, all the shops which are selling firecrackers have been shut down and the sale has been completely stopped. Speaking with few of the businessmen over here who purchased huge amount of firecrackers for sale, they look very worried about the decision because they are going to face a lot of uh, loss in their business. With video journalist Sandeep Das, Nagain Singh, we on. All right, uh, coming to you, Haripriya, once more. Uh, this is going to hit the traders now. We haven't seen such a big ban before. It's uh, definitely going to have an impact. How much of an impact do you see this uh, happening this time around? Because the court has also said that people who've already purchased the firecrackers, they will be allowed to burst them on Diwali and perhaps even later on. Uh, this is a big step, but do you think this is going to take time to yield results? 
yes it is going to take time to yield results for number one because of the temporary lifting of the ban during the shira and licenses were already issued around that time there are many people who are already in position of firecrackers individuals so a they are definitely going to burst it during diwali and my hope is respect so but as far as these traders are concerned i don't think there is much of a loss because you see the ban number one is only for delhi ncr so all of them can even now sell this stock outside delhi ncr region and and not suffer a loss number one number two these traders and uh, uh, manufacturers actually came to court and said originally that there are 50 lakh thousand kilos of firecrackers available in delhi after the 12 september order where they said you can't bring in firecrackers whatever's within delhi you burst it after that they've now moved application saying actually the stock is not inside delhi it's all outside ncr we need to bring them in and the stock inside delhi is much less so even these dealers and traders are talking about they actually possibly don't have much stock with them they only have that limited stock which is already inside delhi because entry of firecrackers into delhi is banned so i don't really find that there's going to be much of a loss to any of them in any event from 1st november they can continue selling Absolutely, and Jessica, you know, let's go a bit back in time. Not just look at last year, what the court has said, but even uh, you know, as back as in 2005, the court had directed that there will be a complete, there should be a complete ban on bursting sound-emitting firecrackers between 10 uh, p.m. and 6 a.m. This step is definitely a much uh, bigger step than what we've seen in the last couple of years. But then again, the question remains that people who already possess firecrackers, there's no ban on them bursting the firecrackers. Do Do you think this uh, needs to be looked at, perhaps uh, in a more stern manner? Well, Sana, it is in fact uh, quite stern enough uh, because if you speak to people uh, around the streets, they're not very happy with the decision. Remember, Delhi is a hub of. <laughs> Uh, you know, people who'd love to burst firecrackers. This is, in fact, synonymous to them uh, for what uh, the festival of lights is, Diwali. But I do feel it's going to create a significant impact because, as you talked about, the 2005 order, which had banned from 10 uh, p.m. to 6 a.m., that did create a lot of uh, difference. But this, in fact, will impact a lot of uh, change, and especially in the air quality. If there are no crackers available for you to buy. I think I don't know what what would you do otherwise than uh, when you get crackers from even if you get them from other cities you can only get them in limited quantity and even if they're being sold uh, in other markets uh, illegally that also will be a problem uh, which in fact the administration will have to look at very carefully but this does help in uh, sort of improving the air quality of Delhi given that people won't have crackers to burst if there is a ban on the sale. Absolutely. So there, there is definitely a positive side to it. When there will be a ban on the sale of firecrackers, they will be less accessible. Hence, the supply will be limited. Because uh, this is an important message that we want to give out to our viewers at this point. Why not celebrate a green Diwali this year? We've seen how the government has had to force schools to uh, remain shut because the pollution levels that we've seen in uh, on the time around Diwali. There have been so many campaigns uh, talking about pollution levels, noise pollution, air pollution. But largely, all of them uh, not very successful. Uh, Hari Priya, at this point, I want to ask you: Your children—they're uh, very young, uh, you know, from what I hear. Uh, what is the message that you would like to give to the many viewers who are tuned in at this point in time? Because this is definitely a positive step. But unless and until community members are—they get involved in it, this is uh, definitely not going to be a big success. So participation from one and all is absolutely essential for this to become a huge success, and not just uh, Supreme Court uh, coming down uh, hard. well what i'd like to say is number 1 in 2005 the supreme court has said uh, bursting crackers is not an integral part of diwali celebration it's not part of our culture or it's not part of our tradition traditionally this was never done this is a much later entry into the market the other thing i want to say is that bursting firecrackers might give a few people instant gratification however the damage it causes to your lungs is more permanent in nature and that can't be undone at all hello Sorry, sorry. Yes, I'm listening. Hello. Please go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. What? What I'm? Yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I, I was saying that though it is instant gratification, the damage these firecrackers and the smoke does to your lungs, even if it's just for one day, two days, or three days, the damage it it's it's it does is forever. 
you know it's irreparable it's irreversible damage it's doing so i cannot understand the argument when people say it's only for one day it's only for two days the damage is done and you've aspirated pm particulate matter 2.5 and it's present in your lungs and it's going to harm your health at some point that's number number 2 right. number 3 and i find entire delhi is unaware of this last year in november 2016 the delhi government has come out with a notification banning bursting of firecrackers except for religious occasions and in 2005 supreme court has said um you know firecrackers is not an integral part of diwali festival therefore technically even for diwali i don't think anybody can claim a right but aside from that even for new years when right. somebody wins uh, a match in wins a match or for any other festival or anything else you cannot burst the firecrackers at all there's already a delhi government notification unfortunately there is very little awareness among the public and they all tend to just have knee jerk reactions without really understanding what was the material the supreme court absolutely we hope the message uh, goes out to one and all loud and clear after what the supreme court has said today miss hari priya padmanabhan and jessica taneja both of you thanks so much for joining me on the show this evening with that we continue to take a look at what the norm is all across the world for now it's that time of the year when homes are lit up with oil lamps in the front yard of every house with dazzling firecrackers but the supreme court has put a dampener of sorts by banning the sale of firecrackers barely a week before diwali the festival of lights while it can be appreciated that this move primarily is to prevent accidents and improve the air quality the ban has been imposed only on delhi and ncr areas so how does the rest of the world deal with firecrackers senior foreign editor padma rao takes a look A puzzling and rather hasty directive issued by India's highest judicial instance at Supreme Court to ban the sale of firecrackers barely a week before the country's biggest festival of lights Diwali will leave manufacturers in red figures customers who traditionally celebrate the festival with firecrackers doing their best to dodge the ban and hundreds of small traders who wait for this month to make their biggest sales facing losses A burst of color in the sky, fountains of starry eruptions from tiny containers known in India as flower pots, the zigzagging brilliance of sparklers, who can resist a good display of light and sound and color to celebrate a festival? Well, India is not alone. Most other countries have banned fireworks too. In most cases it has been a rise in fatal accidents caused by firecrackers that prompted governments to regulate and restrict their use. In Canada, crackers have been banned since 1972. New York City in the United States lifted a decades old ban in 2007, but it was for a regulated display in Chinatown. On the West Coast too, there are firecracker displays for New Year's Eve as across the United States, but always under the supervision of the police and fire departments. As with most things in orderly Germany and most parts of Europe fireworks are classified in different categories some may be sold to those over 18 3 days before new year's eve and used only for that occasion for lighting firecrackers on any other day of the year permission must be taken most firecrackers nowadays are made in china and this is also the country that permits them but mostly in rural areas The new year is rung in through firework competitions but they remain banned in most urban areas of China where the population density and the risk of accidents is higher. Italy is an exception. Firecrackers are legal and can be bought without a license by anyone who is 18 and older. Some countries are selective. Take Norway where only those fireworks known as rockets are banned. All other types are still allowed. Singapore allows a public display of fireworks on the Chinese New Year but only under the control of its tourism board and they are not allowed to be sold. The Republic of Ireland bans them but people smuggle them in from Northern Ireland where they enjoy legality. Padma Rao, Beyond.